Hello everyone and welcome to the WCG for quarterfinal three of the 2022 Texbet Australia T20 Big Bash, which sees a huge encounter between two tournament dark horses as the Group C winners, the Puffin Billies, take on the Group D runners-up six offenders for a place in the semi-finals. Both of these sides have been somewhat impressive so far in this tournament, but someone's got to go home after this one. And if we take a look at both sides' road to the quarterfinals, the Puffin Billies breeze through Group C to finish top of the pile, easily accounting for the saggy greens and taking over, and they head into this contest clear favourites. For the six offenders, they began their tournament brightly, accounting for nice Gary, but a loss in their final match against the Crabs saw them finish in second spot. Captains are ready for the toss. Boys, shake hands. Uh, six offenders are lowest ranked, so they can call. So six offenders skipper Daniel Hancock wins his third successive toss for the tournament and he is elected to bowl first in this one. As we take a look at his side for this crunch quarter final, Daniel Hancock will lead them into battle once again. He'll be joined by his twin brother Nathan Hancock who has been on with the ball so far this tournament leading from the front. And the side will be rounded out by Riley Cornforth who has led the way with the bat and is expected to stand up once again in this one. As we take a look at the Puff and Billy side for this quarter final, they have breezed through everything in their path up until this point. All three members have contributed somewhat to their performances so far, in particular their skipper Joseph Airy and their main attacking weapon with the ball Nathan Maslow. And the Puff and Billies are looking to qualify for back to back semi finals. And just before we get underway, we'd like to thank our major partner for this year's tournament, Texbet, who have been fantastic since jumping on board. Bet local, bet with Tex. So two tournament dark horses, one ticket to the semi-finals, the Puff and Billies and the Six Offenders, we're ready to go. And no surprise it will be Joe Severi who will get this innings underway for the Puff and Billies. Has only had the one hit for the tournament, but we all know what happened on that occasion. A record T20 score of 60 not out. Can he get them off to another good start in this one? So it'll be Nathan Hancock to buy the first over of the innings. Oh, and he's in now to Severi, he begins with a bouncer. And Severi has a wild swipe at it and doesn't make contact. Well, he looked back at Nathan as if to say, how dare you? Oh, that was past him in a flash. Hancock to continue to Severi in the opening over. Here he's in there. This one's a back of a length delivery. And Severi just tucks his on the leg side and will scamper through for a single to get his account underway in this one. So this shapes to be a big battle here between Severi and Hancock. How the six defenders would love to get him early with the man in career best form. Here is Hancock will continue to Severi in the opening over of this quarter final. Here is in now, this one's another good delivery, it goes through. There's a big appeal here from Hancock and it's been given not out. Well, I'm not sure what's actually happened here. Severi looks back in disgust once again. Oh, he's got an inside edge and it's just bounced short of the auto wiki. So a close call here in this quarter final. As Hancock will continue to Severi in the opening over. Here's this one's another back of a length delivery. Hit onto the fence. And he takes Riley Cornforth on his direct hit. And the umpire has fired him straight away. That is a massive moment for the six defenders. They get Severi early in this quarter final. Severi over eager to get this scoreboard ticking. It's a good bit of fielding from Riley Cornforth. A direct hit. And Severi goes for just one. The Puff and Billy's one for one in the quarter final. And the six offenders know just how big of a moment that is. So the Puff and Billy's one for one in this quarter final. As that wicket now brings Joseph Azar to the crease at number two. Made seven in his side's win against taking over. Can he get the Billies out of a hole in this one? So it'll be Hancock into Azar for his first delivery. He's in now. This one's a bouncer, but it sails down leg side. And that'll be called a wide. So the Puff and Billy's now one for two in the opening over. The six offenders on top after the early wicket of Severi. And if they can get Azar early, they are well on top. Here is Hancock is in for what should be the final delivery of the over. Here is in now, this one's a back of a length delivery and it's expertly guided onto the fence by Azar for a single to end with. One for three after one. It's gonna be Riley Cornforth who will bowl the second over of the innings. As in now, random wicket here to Azar. And Azar is forward and kind of half plays a defensive shot. 
There's a slight appeal there from Corn Forford. It must have been pitching outside leg. So a good start with the ball here in this quarter final. As Corn Forth will continue again now to Azen. He plays his upper slip towards Daniel Hancock, who takes the catch. They're in big trouble now, the Billies. Azar goes for one. He plays his upper slip. He got good contact. And it's a smart catch there from the skipper. The six defenders on fire in this quarter final. Two for three. Well, the Puff and Billies are in all sorts in this third quarter final. As that wicket now brings Nathan Maslow to the crease, the last man in. Finished not out 10 in their last match win against taking over. He needs a score here. So it's Cornforth to continue to Maslow. And this one's a full delivery. Maslow hammers this down the ground first ball. Well, pressure. What pressure here for the Bosnian Bullet. It's a half volley. And it's dispatched brilliantly. The Puff and Bill is two for seven in the second over. As Cornforth is in once again to Maslow and he's pulled this over the fence. The Billies are all out in this quarter final. What is going on in these quarter finals? The Billies join the misery of the teams batting first so far in this knockout stage. They have been rolled for seven and the six offenders need just eight. Well the Puff and Billies Express seems to have been halted here in this third quarter final. They have been rolled for seven. And it's going to take a huge bowling effort from here if they're going to get home in this one. Maslow top scoring with four. Riley Cornforth, the chief destroyer, finishing with two for three. And it's eight to get for the six offenders for a place in the semi-finals for the first time in three years. And it's going to be Riley Cornforth who will get this run chase underway for the six offenders. Has been steady with the bat so far in this tournament for the men in yellow. Can he hold his nerve to get his side home in this one? So it's eight to get here for the six offenders as the Bosnian Bullets steams in first up. And he begins with a typically quick delivery. Oh, but it's been called wide by the umpire. Well, this one looked touch and go to be fair. Uh, it's probably the right decision in the end. Poor start. Maslow to continue to Cornforth in the opening over. He's in now and this one's a quick delivery. Oh, but he's pushed this one down the leg side. So that'll be called a wide also. So not the start they needed with the ball, the Billies. This one is slipping away from them fast. As Maslow will continue again now to Cornforth. Here he's in now. This one hits Cornforth on the body. And he's going to move through for a leg by. So inch by inch, the six offenders are getting their way to this target. No wicket for three in the opening over. One clean hit over the boundary markers does this here for the six offenders. Here is Maslow is in once again to Cornforth and this one's another wide delivery and it's been called wide again. So the Puff and Billies are imploding here in this quarter final. And it's just four to get now for the six offenders. Here is Maslow will continue to Cornforth in the opening over. Here is in now and this one's a good delivery. This one's bang on the money as Cornforth plays his back down the pitch for no run. So he's not in a hurry here as a youngster. As Maslow will continue to him now in the opening over. Here is in now and this one's a good length delivery outside the off stump. And Cornforth leaves this one alone. So not to state the obvious, but the Puff and Billies need a wicket and they need it fast. As they can see their title aspirations slipping away from them fast. As Maslow will continue to Cornforth in the opening over. Here is in now, oh, and that is an absolute beauty. Which has the beating of Cornforth all up. But unfortunately from the Billies point of view, there's no edge. That's a beauty from the bullet. Maslow in for the final ball of the opening over. Here he's in now, and this one's a full delivery. And Cornforth is forward and defends well to end with. No wicket for four after one. It's going to be the skipper, Joseph Eri, to bowl the second over of the innings. As he's in now to Cornforth around the wicket. He begins with a full delivery, and Cornforth clips this off his toes. But it's onto the fence and drops for no run. So can the skipper produce something special here to get his side back into it? And Severi's in once again to Cornforth and it's a good length delivery. And Cornforth is happy to just defend this on the leg side for no run. So the youngster clearly in no hurry. And nor need he be with just four to get. And Severi's in once again to him now. And it's played back down the pitch once again for no run. So plenty of deliveries remaining here for Cornforth. Who just needs one clean hit to get him home here. And Severi's in once again to Cornforth who hits this up. And there it is! He's hit it to the boundary! Well, he doesn't seem to know if they're one or not. But I'll tell you what, youngster, you're through to the semi-finals. The six defenders have pulled off an upset here in this third quarter final. 
to keep their Dark Horse tag alive. They have hammered the Puffin Billies by three wickets. Exactly the same result as the previous two quarterfinals. And they booked their ticket to the final four. So this quarterfinal over in no time whatsoever once again. As the Puffin Billies who were so impressive in the group stages crash out at the quarterfinal stage. The six offenders booked their ticket through to the semi-finals with an impressive three wicket crushing. Corn 4 finishing four not out to go along with his two wickets in this one as they join Howzat and the Nifnuffs in the semi-finals. As we look ahead to the next match of the tournament, it's the fourth and final quarterfinal. It's the Group D winner Smack My Pitch Up taking on the surprise packet in this year's tournament, the debutants taking over for the last ticket to the final four. And after some pretty one-sided quarterfinals, could this be the cracker we've been waiting for?